So it says, how do we defend the country when we have thousands of unknown military-aged men crossing the channel supported by the left and the church? And this goes back to Abdul Azidi. Now, I, I did this story yesterday on the show, but, you know, this is... I just, what is going on in the Home Office? So you've got this man who comes here illegally on the back of a lorry from Afghanistan, applies for asylum, by the way, commits a sexual offence, turned down twice, then gets given asylum, and now, obviously, he then uh, commits this mm. atrocity. The, it's not fit for purpose. Well, they, there needs to be much more stringent um, stringent checks and better decision making, right? If it's been refused yes. and it's been refused twice, then it needs to be followed through, right? I think that the way that he, he stayed in the country was a, a priest supported him and said that he had changed his uh, his uh, his religion, religion. Just to Christianity. Oh, yeah, yes. I mean, but that. I don't understand how that instantly makes you a good person. And it's not about asylum. Asylum, And what it's about is if you are going to commit crime in this country and you are going to do heinous things and horrible things, then you should not be, you shouldn't be here. And we should be stringent about And, and it goes here. back to communication, yeah. as we always say. People need to have clarity as to what the rules are. Because not well, all I'll asylum... what the rules yeah, are, Not actually. all asylum seekers are, are wrong, which it's no. not about that. It's, it's people who abuse the system. Go for the rules. Let the rules say... Where a person is required to sign the sex offenders register, you must refuse or cancel entry clearance or permission on the grounds of serious harm. That is the guidance. So very simple. So yeah, it, so it should be revoked. So it should be revoked. Very yeah. simple. But you see, this is why people have lost faith in, so, in what is going on in this country. So you're right. So the, the, the distinction is, because a lot of people have a go on social media and say, oh, we're all talking about asylum. It's important to talk about the abuses. Yeah. And Agreed. where those abuses happen, let's call it out Agreed. and get it rectified. I, I agree. Just in terms of that, I mean, it, it comes back to a much bigger issue. We know that the immigration will be, and I keep saying it, it will be, I think, the predominant theme of the general election. But also, we've now got a 1,000 people who've come here illegally this year already. Rishi Sunak says he's going to stop the boats. Suella Braverman has used this to say we need to leave the ECHR. And here we've got the safety of Rwanda bill going through. We're in the House of Lords. We're in the committee stage. It will go through, won't it? I, I wouldn't know to be honest. Mm. I think it's a it's a plan that's had a lot of <laughs> uh, you know, controversy to say mm. the least. I mean, I, you know, as a sort of liberal kind of lefty type, I'll say something that will hopefully ingratiate me a little bit more with the. Oh no, with, our audience love you. Oh, no. with, <laughs> with the audience in that you know, um, processing people seeking to immigrate here in a third country doesn't seem the most sort of unreasonable mm. uh, project in the world. I do think we need to make sure that they're treated humanely and the process is is, is done uh, properly. Of but obviously, it's you know, the, the politics around it is, um, is really complicated at the moment. And again, I, I would say we were talking earlier about um, international coordination and stuff. Yeah, again, immigration, the, these are... Um, the immigration sort of trails extend across continents, multiple countries. We do need to be working with other countries on this. So it's an example of how we are integrated into uh, a global economy and we do need uh, sort of multinational structures mm. and partnerships as well. Okay. I, I also think it devalues the audience at home just saying if it's left or right. I think yeah. the reality yeah, 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 I'm being give, pe no, but give people the facts, give yeah. people the facts and they can make informed yeah. decisions yeah. and encourage all views. That's what we try and do. The, the fact is that that person shouldn't have been in the country when that crime was committed. It was That's an abuse. abuse. And it's got nothing to do with asylum. Well, it has got to do with asylum. Mm. It shouldn't have been in the country because he broke the rules in terms of what we should be here and shouldn't be here. That's, that's it.